Hey there everybody, I'm CCP Dolan here with CCP Rise, bringing you the very last match of day one of the New England Open 2 with semicolon drop table users in red versus MIF in blue. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the setups they've brought? Yeah, this is pretty awesome. We have two uh, very new weird setups to end the day, which is great. Uh, semicolon, semicolon drop table users in red, which is actually a um, Shadow Cartel team, if I remember correctly. That is correct. Yep, Shadow Cartel Outbreak, so they should be pretty good. They've brought two Absolutions, a Guardian, a Vigilant, and then a Support Wing of Vengeances, a Dragoon, and a Merlin. That's a really interesting setup. On the other side, MIF, a Golem, two Slipners, Harpy, Stiletto, two Bantams, and a Merlin. And again, I feel like the key to this match, just like in the last one actually, is going to be whether the Marauder-based team can actually kill something important before they start to lose their ships. So I, what I see this MIF team as being is it's basically like the Golem is just completely separate from the rest of the team. The Golem is just going to sit there and do damage across the field, be unkillable, and then they're going to have the rest of their Slipner team roll in with the double Bantam uh, logistic support and try and actually do some damage to the support wing. I don't know if they want to fight these absolutions, but they can definitely take on this it's like the Dragoon, the Vigilant, the Merlin, and try and catch the Guardian. They've already started, uh, they've already tackled uh -huh. the Guardian Yeah, I got a here. tackle on the Guardian, that's a really good start. And if they can get these Slipners on top, the Slipners are both tackled here, but if the Guardian can't get away, it's not gonna do them much good. This is gonna be, yeah. Uh, I really like that they brought the Bantams, the logistics, managing to get some logistics on a team with a Marauder. Mm -hmm. We'll see if they're able to keep up uh, the Slipners, which, like you said, are tackled. The, uh, Vengeance is really good for pinning the Slipners away from the fight. They're fast, they're really annoying to kill, mm -hmm. and they can tackle those Slipners and kind of pin them wherever they want, so that's good for them. Harpy's actually going down for MIF already. Um, there's tackle on both the Guardian and the Vigilant. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to check and see if anything's close to that Vigilant that could actually bring it down. Well, the target paint is already on the Guardian there. I'm wondering if they're going to try and use the Golem's DPS there as well. Uh, if it's a Cruise Golem, which I, I'm pr fairly certain without even looking that it is, uh, it'll be able to do, apply some damage there. Uh, but in meanwhile, they're just losing their support all across the field here. Yeah. And it's strange. The Slipners, I guess, are tied up and unable to support this, these frigates. They yep. really need to pull the frigates in closer to the Slipners' protection. Yeah, but that's scary, of course, because then you put them close to the Absolutions or close to the Vengeances, which could chew them up quickly. I mean, they're definitely in a tough spot, and they're losing both Bantams down now. Um, one uh, really tough thing about this kind of setup, about the the Marauder setup, is that they guarantee you with the Marauder that they have one ship that's not going to be disrupted at all that can be supplying DPS, but then in a way you're seeing two Slipners with only two Bantams in the small support wing mm -hmm. fighting against the whole other team in terms of the fight for logistics support and E-War and all that, so... And um, they're trying to just burn through this Vigilant with reps from the Guardian. Yeah. No, no E-War on that Guardian whatsoever. They're doing it, kind of, but not really fast enough to make any sort of difference here. They're already losing a Slipner as it's entering into low shields. It'll soon enter armor and drop all the way through. Uh, and they already have a Disruptor or a Scram on the other Slipner, so it won't be going anywhere particularly quickly. Uh, they're just completely stationary now, and Semicolon Drop Daily Users has the complete maneuverability advantage. Yeah, I mean, they're obviously in control now. Um, I really, I like what MIF tried to do, but yeah, they just couldn't control the match. They uh, have a lot of really tough tanks to try to break. The Vigilant and Guardian are probably their best options, but it looks like the Vengeances and kind of the rest of the uh, uh, Semicolon team did a really good job just controlling where they were at and never allowing them to stack up enough damage to really do something Like, if they could have taken the, if they could have taken the Guardian and the Vigilant, and then just like lost everything else and let the golem go to work and just chew through stuff. Maybe they right. have a chance. Right. That, yeah. That's that's what I was saying at the start of the match. If they can make some big dent in the team before they lose their their whole team, because they probably will. Um, like if they can. Yeah. Exactly what you mm -hmm. said. Take out the guardian and the vigilant. Take out the guardian and half of an absolution or something like that. The golem might be able to finish off the match because, like we saw last match, they can stick in there a really long time pumping out damage. Mm. Um, but. You know, this this situation now has popped up a few times where they just the rest of the team is not able to do anything important enough before they start to lose ships uh, to swing the match in their favor. So. Yep, and we're gonna see here now. Uh, it's just a, a guessing game of whether there's enough applied DPS <laughs> to break this golem, or if we're gonna wait six minutes and 15 seconds. Yeah, we'll see. There's there's more damage uh, on this team than there was on the last team. It's also possible that um, this golem is ASB tanked and doesn't have that you know long term ability to tank but um, it'll it'll take a while no matter what I'm sure and there isn't uh, there shouldn't be much um, energy neutralization coming from this semicolon team either yeah. uh, maybe a little bit from I mean ob like probably a little bit from the Dragoon but that's not very significant um, well probably as we say that look at this golem uh, I think so this is just boost. I think this is just damage 
I mean, he's boosting, but this is just a he's lot of damage. He's not nearly boosting as well as the Golem in the previous mass. He's only got a single booster. Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure of that. Like, the, the double boost bar for the last Golem was pretty significantly larger. Uh, actually, something... No, he's got his he's got his little wings up there. I was going to say he might not be in Bastion, but yeah, you're right. His uh, his bar is a lot smaller. So it's just it's just him working away. So I think this is something we're going to see. Like uh, the difference here being that MAF is going to lose the golem, can't play it again in the losers bracket, uh, and we'll yep. just have to see. Uh, sorry, just got a little bit extra smoky here for a second. Um, <laughs> I just caught a whiff of it. Um, but the golem here taking taking slivers of armor. Uh, it's just a m matter of time till they break him. Uh, so, do you? Th what do you think of the golem on his first showing on the first day? Maybe not. Not good. Maybe not, not good. as good as, as t some teams would like. Yep, we're gonna have to see if anybody can come up with a way to make it work. But for now, Marauders are looking like they're just a little too expensive to be worth it. Um, especially since you just can't have two of them. You have to bring in a bunch of other stuff that usually just gets killed off while your golem sits there. So. For now, not looking too good for the Marauders, but actually I'm very excited about the diversity we're seeing in the rest of the setups. It seems like all kinds of stuff is viable. Yep. Um, Complete maybe including Marauders, but maybe day. not. But yeah, I mean, all kinds of different things today. And a lot of them looking very competitive, not just like random garbage everywhere, but uh, you know, a lot of pretty good looking setups. So Favorite setup so far today as we watch the Skullum die slowly? Oh man, I mean, I think actually the coolest thing today for me is the, the Fleet Foon setup. Uh, it lost one, one, two, or something like that, but it looks like it could be a kind of a, a big part of the new meta, and mm -hmm. it's something completely different than what we've seen in past tournaments. So I like that a lot. Yep, exactly. And one more. Uh, he's rotation boosting of back. The he, boost. Yeah, he must no, got a one more rotation of the boost here. He's been boosting the whole time. He's just taking slippers. And there he goes. That's going to be the match. Semicolon drop table users victorious in their first match of the, uh, the New Year Open 2. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be the last match for the day. I don't know if we're cutting back to the studio, but if we are, uh, we'll see you in just a couple seconds. If not, we'll see you tomorrow.